New tonight, we've learned that one of the soldiers killed on Tuesday by a falling tree in Georgia is from Orange County. This is Army Ranger Cadet 2nd Lieutenant Evan Fitzgibbon. He graduated from the Foundation Academy in Winter Garden. Fox 35's Randy Hildreth joins us live from Windermere, where he grew up. And Randy, you spoke to his football coach today. So many people are thinking about him this week. We, as you mentioned, are in downtown Windermere right over my shoulder. You can see that the flags have been lowered to half staff in his honor. If you go back to his school uh, in Winter Garden, the flags are lowered there as well. As you mentioned, I talked to his football coach, former teachers as well. So many heartbroken by this loss and also because he was so young and they say he had so much that he wanted to accomplish in this life. For those who knew Evan Fitzgibbon, there aren't enough good things to say. Courageous, warrior, loyal, fun, um, just stalwart. The second lieutenant is one of two Army Ranger candidates who died at training this week at Yona Mountain in North Georgia. Fitzgibbon and Staff Sergeant George Tabor were killed by a falling tree during a storm. We actually found out, or I found, found out yesterday at school, yesterday morning, and um, it was devastating. Fitzgibbon was a West Point graduate commissioned in May 2021, but his accolades go back to his time at Foundation Academy in Winter Garden. I had him for both chemistry and for physics. One former teacher who's also a retired naval officer said they bonded over their commitment to serve. I think the country in general is losing a great potential leader in somebody like Evan, and that's not hyperbole. National Honor Society student leader and captain of the football team in 2017. Fitz always stood out, even with all the talent, because he played it, uh, he, he knew he was undersized. He played with a very high gear and he lived life that way. Those who knew him say Fitzgibbon's faith is what's helping them get through each day. His verse that he put in the yearbook was from Proverbs 21, 31. And he said, the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. He would absolutely stand here today and say, don't be sad, I'm victorious. I was victorious because God was victorious in my life. And his former football coach says he's set to meet with his family today. Now he is survived by his parents, his sister, and his fiance. His new fiance, I'm told that they just got engaged in April. Live tonight, Randy Hildreth, Fox 35 News.